We're in uh, Berry Farm, or the remnants of Berry Farm, which is a public housing complex uh, that housed about 440 families. So this is a part of a, a local neighborhood called Anacostia. It's all part of Washington, D.C. This is part of a redevelopment scheme of this area. Um, in the background, you see the Frederick Douglass Bridge right there. So that's a very large scale infrastructure project. Down the street is the 11th Street Bridge project. So that preceded all of this. There's two iterations of Berry Farm. There's Berry Farm as a former place where slaves lived, you know, because slaves came from all over the United States after the Civil War. They leased them land in Berry Farm. And so this was a formerly enslaved person settlement. In the 50s, uh, during urban renewal, the en formerly enslaved settlement was destroyed. Then they built Berry Farm, the public housing complex, but now it's going to be uh, mixed income housing. And probably for the first time since it was a plantation, it's going to be majority white owned. Everyone here was displaced in anticipation of a, a large 1400 unit mixed income development mostly market rate and the affordable units are still out of the reach of most of the people in this area and so they're really preparing this area for a use that i don't think that it has experienced in a very long time we're in berry farms land development this used to be property of free black military men who had families who were stationed over here here in dc in the district over the time um, a lot of the land had to be redeveloped because more income came in and more money being financed for this development to help reconstruct more housing, more opportunity, more work. So in order to do that, they had to tear it down and redevelop it and offer opportunity for other people. People were talking about Berry Farm, people in the neighborhood were concerned about what was happening at Berry Farm. And when I appeared at the zoning hearing, I was appalled at what I saw. There were a lot of procedures that were ignored, a lot of legal malfeasance in that case, which is why we went to court and won the case. I don't think that the law is effective. You see, we won the case, but the site is empty and people are displaced. And I don't think very many people are better off for that victory. I mean, maybe in a spiritual sense or, or maybe some law, but in terms of like real people's lives, it's an abstraction. Um, and so I don't think that the law is an answer to displacement. I, I think that the answer uh, to displacement is more of a, you know, it, it resides within the people and, and the will of the people and, and the kinds of uh, development and, and the paradigms for development that we would like to see. But when people are upset about this and, and get involved, organized, and pat enough, I think that's when we won't see this anymore.